Princess Life Flight here, and welcome back to my channel. Mikachu! Mika! Hi, I'm Univenus22, also known as Chelsea Bells, depending on where you see me. Hey everyone, this is Olga Got to Phoenix with Mofino! <laughs> so let's get the show on the road! <laughs> I'll reintroduce myself. I am Xiao Mei. I am the narrator of the story you're hearing. But you already know me. Greetings! Thank you all! And welcome back to another Pokemon this series, Cross Masters X. Comparison. In today's editorial, we're going to be talking about Valerie, the Lavare Gym Leader. I'm Valerie, a fairy-type gym leader. The elusive fairy may appear delicate as a bloom, but it is strong. Together, we can win! How about Valerie? Valerie is a very graceful woman with very kind words of wisdom. She always hides her problems and weaknesses from her family and friends with a service smile. I'm one step closer to my dream. Ready or not, here we come! And there you have it! A fashionable battle! Valerie has long black hair that reaches down to her knees, and her eyes are wide and in the color of purplish gray. She wears pink lip gloss or lipstick. And she also wears purple hair clips, slightly resembling the ears of an autono and string-like tendrils, as well as a purple choker. And her outfit resembles a style kimono splice with the gothic lolita style. And the sleeves bear the resemblance to butterfly wings with the pink mist-like pattern followed by a yellow cream color tipped with black. And she also wears a pale yellow corset intertwined with purple strings lined with butterfly patterns, black strings. And along with that, she wears a short puffy skirt with the colors of pale purple, pink, and black with frilly ends. And to finish it off, she wears black slacks with the reminiscence flares on the top and black high heels with bright pink soles and ribbons. Valerie is a calm gym leader who prefers surprising her opponents with unexpected moves, twisting the field to her presence. Valerie also prefers beauty, being a fashion designer herself and causing her Pokemon to look different from than they usually seen in battle. Valerie is always poised and polite. Behind this, however, Valerie is building confident in how she conducts herself in the battlefield. Her fairy Pokemon are trained with beauty and power, or what she calls hidden fangs in mind. Valerie is incredibly empathetic and is revealed that she wishes to be a Pokemon. As a result, she has developed the unique ability to speak with some Pokemon which allows her to use them with their full abilities in battle, such as Sylveon's Ribbon. She is also created and has an eye for detail, and Valerie believes that the only nature represents her true beauty, and she often incorporates floral and Pokemon motifs into her fashion designs, and her designs are best showcased in battle, where the intricate details and the free-flowing movement of the materials to life. She debuted in a fashionable battle after Ash and his friends arrived in Laver City. Sabrina, Serena becomes excited about the prospect of meeting her. When a fashion show was about to start, Valerie became unsure what to do while preparing for the fashion show. Blossom and Catherine brought over Serena and Bonnie, and Valerie recommended them to replace two participants who didn't show up to her fashion show. And during the event, Valerie had a gen battle requested by Linnea to showcase her designs. And against Sawyer, and was easy, and easily defeated his Vagon with help of her spritzy speed. And this battle caused Ash to realize that Valerie was going to be very tough to deal with. In very type trickery, Valerie got to battle Ash next. And when Ash and his friends arrived at the Lavert Gym, they initially noticed that Valerie was absent, and then she made a grand entrance with flower petals to welcome Ash to the gym. Beginning their two on two match, Valerie called out Sylveon first. After Fletchinger defeated Valerie Sylveon, Valerie sent out her Spritzy next. And the strategy was revealed when she had Spritzy use Trick Room, and it managed to defeat Fletchinger. As Fletcher took too long with multiple flame charges during the stage trick room was active, despite its speed going up. Valerie dealt with Halucha next. By treating it as a wrestling ring, Halucha withheld Spritzy's attacks and then exited the trick room, shattering it. Spritzy was defeated by Halucha, thus defeating Valerie. The fruity soda girls 
commented that Valerie hadn't lost to anybody in a while. She then gave Ash the fairy badges for, for defeating her. She re reappeared in a flashback in the next episode. In a towering takeover, Valerie was seen in her gym watching Lysandre's <laughs> broadcast from Lumio City along with their Pokemon, while witnessing anime-only locations all getting wiped out and killed by Team Flare grunts. In a rocking Kalos defense and forming a more perfect union, Valerie and Spritzy were among those who helped destroy the giant rock. In partners in time off screen with Catherine Blossom, Lania, and the others, she witnessed the Masters 8 tournament going on in G Galar between Ash and Leon. And there you have it! Well done! Thanks, Jennifer. And before we go, like what we said, Valerie Blossom, Catherine, and Lenny have all watched the tournament during the finals and Ash beat Leon and became the monarch of the world, continuing his journey. Yes! I knew we could do it! Congratulations, Ash Ketchum! You are the very best like no one ever was, and good luck on your journey to be friend and become a Pokémon master! See you later! Good to see you! No time to read a list. Approved! Next! Final results! <laughs> <laughs>